Good day fellas, I hope you are ready for your daily dose of skill and today we are going to play with a Škoda T56. Um, I believe I am not going to surprise you. It is uh, one of the most, in fact, it is the most popular T8 heavy premium tank. Would I surprise you with this? I don't really think so. Anyways, uh, speaking about this tank, this is pretty much one of the best, if not the best, premium tier 8 heavy tank. It is very, very popular one as well, because um, compared to the second place, Love, uh, people played with this vehicle 2.3 million times over the past two months, and with Love, people played uh, 900 30,000 times, so pretty much two and a half times more played with a Škoda. Uh, not a big surprise to be fair with you considering how good this vehicle actually is. And skill, what is so good about this tank? So this tank has auto loader, two in the magazine, three, three and a half seconds between the shells, and you have 460 alpha damage. There is plenty of the heavy tanks which doesn't have this alpha damage with single shooter gun. I'm not even speaking about the auto loader. So so yeah, other than that, speaking about this tank, you have a good combination of the things. Uh, you have great armor, uh, you have obviously auto loader, which is absolutely awesome, but there is one bad thing about this tank and I believe many of you would agree with me. This vehicle has quite bad gun handling, it truly does, uh, it, and it can be truly annoying. So one thing what I can highlight, what you need to do whenever you are playing with this tank is to use equipment setup, which is making uh, your gun handling better. In this situation, I am using um, ventilation, stabilizer, and improved aiming unit for a full uh, happiness when I am playing with this tank. So that's how I am hitting most of my shots. Now speaking about most of my shots, that's one miss. <laughs> oh, I see. And that's second one. Okay, at least we at least we hit one, okay? We need to be happy with the small things. Um, that was definitely on me. I could have aimed a bit better instead of snap shooting, but you know what? Eh, let it be. No complaints, no regrets. Moving on next, he's down to two shotable at this point, and you know what we are going to do. We are eh, taking our time to turn on him, and we are going to start bashing his ass once again. Speaking about the ass, beautiful, and one more, and he is dead. We need to eliminate this guy, and now we can play the game. Skill, you lost two-thirds of the hit points. Yes, I did did lose two thirds of the hit points and I am feeling relatively happy with this. The main reason why am I feeling happy with Dig the Light Tank which is a big pain in the ass to deal with overall and now we can figure out how we can play the game and how we can um, torture enemies in a way, right? This is exactly what we need to do. So. At this point we can see the double penetrator and I think I want to uh, take the position where our black dog is, right? <coughs> we will try to craft a very very nice angle and hopefully this will work. Good. We are getting a bit closer here and here we go. Now we should be able to say hello. That's one. Oh, barbecue. Nice, beautiful, I always can appreciate good barbecue, I believe you can as well. Meanwhile, um, can we eliminate him from the game? Well, I have a feeling he's already dead. Excellent, okay, beautiful. We are thanking the black dog who actually listened to us and who escaped Aka, allowing us to play in the position where we were... Um, thinking of playing in the first place that's very very nice there is a lot of a lot of mother truckers who will take the position and not even move even though when there is a better um tank coming uh, this way to play in the, in one or another position right okay let's see we are losing this game by the 2000 hit points i do not really like what i see but i do not really think i can change anything at this point unfortunately but what we can do we can go for a base defense. And this is exactly what I am working for. Um, I am spotted. 
It doesn't really change too many things as wrong as it sounds and we want to go up just like so. Meanwhile we found the light tank sitting here, doesn't really matter and uh, fellas keep uh, this in mind, we can kill the CLC in two shots, I am not even joking. We can actually kill this guy in two shots, watch this, if obviously the gun will work in our favor. Unfortunately it did not and I am instantly going on the reload, he won't realize this more likely and he will think I have only one in the magazine, although reality is a bit different. I will wait with a two in, uh, um, I will wait for a two shots ready to spank him like there is no tomorrow. Yeah, I see him. I want him to think I am not paying attention at him. Mm -hmm. Okay, very nice. Oh, such a nice angle. How are you doing? That's one. Do you want to take one more for the team? Let's go for a snapshot. Unfortunately, we are not hitting him in the face. Doesn't really change too many things, to be fair with you. Uh, once again, let's count the hit points. We have 900 HP over there. Once again, it's not going to be easy for him to penetrate us. It doesn't really matter what kind of ammunition he is shooting. Is he, sh is he shooting gold or is he shooting standards? It's just hard to penetrate this heavy tank, you know? No, no wonder this tank is called a heavy tank in the first place. Meanwhile, I really want to eliminate this uh, ELC. I know he's on the reload. I know I could potentially go for him. And you know what? I'm going for him. I am going for him. I trust my gut and I think this is going to be uh, worth it. At least that's what I want to believe. That's one. Now we are going to go for a second one and we are literally crushing him. We just crushed his dreams and we crushed everything, fellas, what he had. We rided him like a pony. Never mind. Good killing shot over there. Beautiful. So, here you go. This is what this tank is capable of. It is not the fastest tank in the world of tanks. It is not the most agile tank in the world of tanks. But, oh boy, this tank can spank. Uh, and this tank can spank very, very well. Um... So far we have 3,500 damage, 2,600 assisting damage because we are playing very very aggressively and it doesn't really matter, there is two artists in the game, we are trying to get as much use as we physically and possibly can, right, so once again this is important thing to say. Uh, and speaking about the gun, I, I'm pretty sure I did not set the penetration value. So gun, 460 alpha damage, right? 208 millimeters of penetration, 1000 shell velocity, which is not the best ever, believe me. So yeah. Uh, moving on next, speaking about the gold, 248 millimeters of penetration, which is once again not ideal by any shape or any form, but it's better than with the standards. And in fact, you will see a lot of a lot of people uh, shooting the full gold with this vehicle. And there is a reason for that, and that reason is uh, <clears throat> unfortunately, but sometimes it is only one way. You know, we can easily uh, compare this gun penetration values to IS-6 in a way. That's how bad penetration is with the standards. That's why you need to have plenty of the gold ammunition as well with this tank. And once again, I know it's not for everyone speaking about the traveling through the, um, through the game or through the world or however you would say on the 30 kilometers per hour and I know it can be a big pain in the ass for um, many of you fellas, especially if you are addicted for a bit better speed, right? Meanwhile, what do we have? Mm -hmm. I will try to craft the angle for his lower plate. Will I be successful? I don't know. But I will try to do my best uh, by witnessing his death. Okay, fine. Fair enough. Good game. I definitely... I definitely cannot complain about the score overall. There is a reason why this tank is so popular. Still, I do not believe this tank is the most popular heavy tank. Watch this. So, looking into all of this, fellas, we have the Škoda T-56. Uh, and as you can see, this tank is most played. Tank AK 2,289,180 um, 5 times and the second place is Love. Yeah, this is, this is, this vehicle is that powerful in a way, right? So that's quite, um, this, this is just the truth. 
Anyways, Škoda T56, uh, first class, beautiful game, 3.5 thousand damage, excellent, 2.7 thousand assisting damage, very, very nice, we are top by experience, we are top by the damage, and we made 116 thousand credits. Call me dirty, but I am feeling pretty good about this. Let's teleport to the round number two, let's go. Round number two. Okay, this is going to be a bit harder than before because we are going to fight against the tier 10 vehicles, but you know what? We are not going to give up and we are not going to cry over it. We are going to be completely fine. I can see a baboon with a raised PP, at least it looks like T44 had a raised PP, never mind, no PP was raised in this game, shame. Anyways, uh... I believe we are going to play in this position. We are going to simply wait until enemies will try to get a bit aggressiver in the middle. Since I am bottom tier, I do not want to make as much pressure as I would love to or as I usually make. And once again, I just don't think it is worth to take that humongous risk. That's the main reason uh, be between or behind this, right? Behind the strategy. Okay, so at this point we are going to wait. Yes, I can see many of our forces are flanking enemies, which is not necessarily a bad thing. If our team will make some kind of cleaning over there, we are going to be very, 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 very good with all of this. T30 is considering his life choices and he wants to get a bit more aggressive over there and I see a couple of guys waiting here. Now look, I do not want to get spotted by this T30. This is very important thing. I do not want to get spotted by this T30. Okay, that's the first shot. I am instantly going on the reload. Wow, I'm not even spotted. That's a weird one. Okay, okay, relax. Take it easy. We are feeling great. This T30 peaked once, I have a big suspicion he is going to try to peak once again. Because usually, uh, this is how it works, whenever someone is peaking once, he is thinking about peaking twice as well. Okay, good. Now watch this, there is a big chance, once again, there is a big chance the Conqueror will try to make a bit of pressure like so. If Conqueror will try to do that, we are going to say hello there for him. Let's see. Mm-hmm, good, and Conqueror is getting involved, we can punish him twice, actually, you know what, yeah, I'm going for a Conqueror, that's one, one more, that's two, <sighs> unfortunately, the second shot did not uh, hit where we were aiming to, but uh, come on, T30 did not penetrate this, can I be mad about this? I do not really think so. Um, that was quite a bit of the tunnel vision from my side, so once again, I cannot uh, cry about my performance, I cannot cry about, oh, how unlucky I am! I should be very happy that T30 did not penetrate this, because then we would be down to one shotable, and then we could actually cry about, uh, um, about this game. Okay, T30 is considering his life choices, beautiful hit, and he is out of the game. Now I have one more in the magazine, which is very, very nice, and we are going to use this for object. Excellent. Just like this, we have 1.8 thousand damage while playing relatively safe and by not shooting the gold ammunition because it is possible to play with the standards with this vehicle. Yes, it is way harder than to spam the full gold, but it is possible to do so and I am here to show you this. Hmm. Okay, let's see. Conqueror, you say. He is thinking about escaping and retreating in a way. Yeah, I cannot really blame him for that, can I? Mm-hmm, patience. Now, nah, all of them are playing hold down over there. This is not what I'm looking for, but that's what we have. One more, maybe. I'm just trying to go for it. Skill, uh, what kind of ammunition you are loading? Well, fellas, I showed you you can be successful even without gold. So now at this point, uh, my finger slipped to the two. I don't know what happened, honestly, fellas. I have no bloody clue what happened over there. It was just an accident. It was an accident, fellas. Okay, let's see. Side shot, kaboom. Beautiful. Can we get another one? 
surely we can. Beautiful. Another 800 damage, just like so. Three and a half seconds reload for this amount of damage. I remember when this tank came into the game, most of the World of Tanks content creators had surprised Pikachu face because it was that powerful. And nowadays looks like people simply stop talking about this tank because, you know, it's just... Uh, why to bother yourself with the things which you cannot change if that makes sense, right? It looks like um, this is the situation. Anyway, speaking about the score and everything, this is not so great game. I was expecting a bit more than this. But, once again, uh, considering I was relatively passive in this game. Well, actually not relatively passive. I was passive in this game. I did not want to take pretty much any risks whatsoever. Just uh, if we will need to obviously carry the game and everything. Meanwhile, I'm getting spotted. It doesn't really change absolutely anything. And what do we have? We have Arta sitting somewhere over there. I will wait for... Um, I will wait until this Arta will get spotted. I have a feeling he should be around this area. That's what I think. And that's what I want to see. Hmm. Our guys are going for a blind shots like there is no tomorrow. He probably sits over there, I guess. But we'll see. Time will show absolutely everything. You know how many guns are aiming for this Arta? Do you know, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, how many guns are aiming for this Arta? And our shell velocity is not that great, to be completely honest with you. So, it is going to be quite a challenge to penetrate him. <laughs> Three shots, instantly. The millisecond this gentleman got spotted, there was, uh, uh, there was pretty much three people who were waiting for that. No? Asshole, get spotted. I will click you back just how you clicked me in this game. This is how the things we are looking like. Okay, victory is victory even in the ass. I'm happy with the performance which we have. And look, let's take a look into the score. And the score says, we got the third class. We got 2.6 thousand damage, um, 800 assisting damage, which is not bad. We are third by experience. We are fourth by the damage considering it is a tier 10 game. Game. It's not bad. And we made 60,000 profits as well. Nice. Let's go for around number three, shall we? Okay. Third game. Save Heaven Standard Battle Tier 9 Matchmaking. Definitely not ideal. Definitely not perfect. But we will try to make it work. Um, I wish I, uh, I could of get or I would I suppose to say I, sh I uh, could get the tier 6 matchmaking, right? Uh, that would be like a slaughterhouse. It is like you are a loving fox into your chicken coop. This is how the things would look like, right? Unfortunately, we are not a single time top tier. Only against the equal tanks and bottom tier. But, once again, it happens. Nothing what we can change about this. Anyways, how we can approach the enemy forces here? This is the question, okay? Škoda, that was quite a bad pick by me, not gonna lie. Bad, 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 bad decision from my side. And this gentleman, he is just simply waiting until someone will uh, make a silly goose peek just the way I did. So once again, crying about this is definitely not an option. That was uh, my stupidity and that was definitely my mistake in this situation. Let's try not to suck at this point. What do you think about that, fellas? What do you think about that? Mm -hmm. Liberty. Huh. Interesting. No lower plate, maybe. I wish to say maybe, but unfortunately it is not the case. Okay, gold on. In this kind of situation, we will simply load the gold. We need that extra 40 millimeters of penetration since we are dealing with a uh, heavy tanks. Since we are dealing with a uh, heavy tanks, we need that. And once again, there is no need for us to shit our pants. There is no need for us to uh, panic by any shape or any form. We can play this game pretty damn well still. Hmm, I could use this guy maybe a bit like so. 
Yeah. I'm trying to make a decision how the flying FI can be successful in this game. And this is very, very hard one. It truly is hard. As you can see, both of our guys are sitting uh, over there, uh, which is not ideal, but this is how it works. And speaking about how the things works, ha 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 ha! is going back to the garage, excellent. Uh, can we spank the Chrysler? This is the question. Can we spank the Mr. Chrysler? Impossible, not even bothering with that. He is side scrapping properly and he is doing the things very, very well. Um, object eventually he will get pissed off and he will try to make a bit of pressure. And I think uh, this is the moment what we are waiting for. I could try to go all the way around, but I do not really think it is going to pay off for us. At least I do not really want to believe in that. So, instead of crying too much, all we need to do, we need to... Oh, how about if we would use this uh, um, this gentleman over there? Well, to be fair with you, I need mo way more horses for that, I assume. I assume I need way more horses for that. Well, but you know what? Uh, there is nowhere to rush. We are just going to use this opportunity to get into the position we are, um, where we want to play. Once again, we have a bit of time. All we need to do, we need to craft better angle. Oh, that's a beautiful angle. Can we get one more? Thank you very much. I'm trying to raise my gun to block my cupola, but unfortunately I am not able to do that in time and I am taking one for the team from this guy. Shame, but it's okay. Now, at this point, the question is, is my cupola safe or not really? Actually, it looks like my cupola is pretty safe here. Nice. This is what I want to see and this is what we are looking for. Speaking about the things we are looking for, nope. From this side I cannot do absolutely anything here. You see, the gun of this vehicle is kind of blocking my shot there against the Chrysler, which sucks. But in the same time I know I cannot change this. Unless... One. Very nice. Can I get another one? Pretty please. Two. Excellent. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful clip. Now, at this point, we see the object who is not really happy and he is paying a humongous attention at me, uh, which is completely fine. The thing is, our prototype is banging his friend. And while he is paying attention at me, um, our guy pretty much almost, almost eliminated his, uh, his best friend, right? Now... Meanwhile, I have only one in the magazine. I am very, very well aware of that, but I have a, pe a feeling object will still try to uh, cross like this. You know what? At this point, I need to relocate. Look at this. We are going to uh, reload at this point and we are taking upper part. Why we are taking upper part? Because our team won this side, which is absolutely amazing. And now we have support from the south, which is good. Okay, let's see. I believe the best part for us would be to try to eliminate the Skoda from the game. Could we do this? I think we actually can and I think we actually will. So, let's pay attention to what is happening here. Skoda is not paying too much attention. We are trying to shoot him. First shot obviously misses. Nothing what we can change about this. And we are going to aim for killing shot just like this. Not ideal, fellas. Not ideal. Yeah, this is so much harder game than the previous ones. Truly. This is a very, very, very hard game for us. Um, I don't know what is the main reason of that, though. Maybe the start wasn't the finest one because we did not manage to craft um, too great of the angles to punish enemies for their mistakes and for their stupidity. Maybe that was the thing. Anyways, relax, take it easy, we got this, this guy is thinking about peeking sideways, and you know what, uh, he is not doing that till the end, or as much as I would love him to do that, you know. Our Wafflecock is not paying attention, that means he is going to take another one for the team, and I cannot save him from this situation, which sucks, and I cannot do absolutely anything, because if I will go aggressively like this, then Skoda is going to clip me out, which I cannot afford, and that's actually very, very bad stuff, right? No? Can you overpeak? This is the question. Can you overpeak for us? 
Nu dăm bie puse. Just over peak. Not exactly what I am looking for. Very hard game. Fellas, I am struggling in this battle. I truly am. I'm not afraid to say uh, there is a game where, it, where the situation is going so much, so much worse than I would love to see. Uh, and this is definitely one of those games. So, how we are going to approach this guy? Oh, both of them are over there. Nice. Good to know. Thank you very much. I am going to eliminate Shkoda just like... Yeah! I thought I am going to do that in time. Unfortunately, not really. Well, shit game. Honestly, I'm very, very disappointed with this one. Because this tank is capable to do so much more. And uh, uh, I definitely misplayed this battle quite a bit. I thought I am going to be able to eliminate the squad and to eliminate object. Because if I will wait until our team will go up. Um, we won't be able to get any uh, use whatsoever in the end of the day. Well, shit happens. Let's see the score. I think we still scored like, I would say... 3.5 to 4,000 session. And I know it sounds uh, good, but this time can do better. Anyways, let's teleport to the scoreboard. And we are back. So for this game, we are getting the third class, 2.1,000 damage, 200 assisting damage. Definitely could be better. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. Škoda farm at 6.3,000. Nice. That's a very, very beautiful performance. Can we switch places, Mr. Škoda, please? That was a very, very strong play by this gentleman. You could see that. He's framing on the corners. He knows what he is doing and so on, so on. Uh, and the turn was very, very good as well. Anyways, we made only 25,000 credits, which sucks, obviously. And this is a bad, bad, bad performance for this time. But... Looking into the overall our session, we still played for a solid 4,000. And it's not bad for this tank, fellas. It is not bad for this tank. I'm telling you. Uh, well... Damage-wise, it wasn't that great. Uh, and 4,000, is, it is okay. We will survive with this, okay? Now, overall performance, speaking about this tank, I am um, usually with this tank playing for over 3,000 damage, right? Um, so, yeah, that's the thing. And looking into this score, it was a bit below average, but it happens. What can you do? Anyways, fellas, thank you very much for watching. I hope you had a great time and I hope you enjoyed yourself. Thank you very much for everything and see you very, very soon. Skill is out for today. Peace.